Elections are a lot like sports. In both cases, the media loves to keep score because a tough fight is super entertaining to watch. Now, one way to keep score is polls. And one such scorecard is exit polls. Now, these exit polls are a lot more efficient than, say, opinion polls, but they're still quite controversial. Now, what exactly are exit polls? Briefly, they're just surveys taken after people cast their votes. How do these exit polls work? Exit polls can be conducted either via interviewing people outside polling booths or online. There's loads of private companies that conduct their own exit polls. Sample sizes tend to extend or contract based on company manpower and budgets. Normally, exit polls don't ask questions beyond who a person voted for, their demographics, and some opinions on national issues. So exit polls overall may or may not reflect the national mood. Who pays for exit polls? Media organizations tend to give a lot of importance to these polls, which means they often commission a lot of these exit polls. What's the point of these exit polls? Television channels who are big buyers of exit polls spend a lot of airtime on post-election analysis and end up racking up a lot of viewers and ad revenue, of course. Should you trust these exit polls? There have been several cases where exit poll agencies have had to face public embarrassment because all their predictions were wrong. And the reasons for that are quite simple. People may or may not be fully truthful about who they voted for. Are these exit polls regulated or monitored? The representation of the People's Act makes it very clear that exit polls cannot be made public until the Election Commission gives their go-ahead. This is because exit polls can unfairly tilt public opinion. Exit polls are just estimates, not facts. Use them, ignore them, enjoy them. Overall, you lose nothing.